Okay. The lack of access to safe drinking water is a problem that affects millions of people around the world. While microbial contamination is the number one issue, of course, as we all know, number two are chemical contaminants. And the most widespread of these are arsenic and fluoride. These elements are dissolved from the rocks into the groundwater as that's then used, pumped up and used for drinking. The number of people that are uh, exposed to elevated arsenic concentrations in their drinking water is estimated to be 140 million, while the estimates for fluoride are around 200 million. Arsenic can cause a variety of diseases including cancer, while fluoride affects the dental and skeletal development and causes stiffness in the joints and prevents people from working. Um, people are affected mostly if they have poor diets and this is the case in developing countries. The mitigation of arsenic and fluoride contamination in drinking water was the focus of Airvar, an AIRVARG project, Water Resource Quality, over the last years. We developed two products. One was um, the probability maps of finding arsenic and fluoride in groundwater on a pixel size of 10 by 10 kilometers and more finer in regions. And the second product was a handbook that describes different monitoring methods and different mitigation options and how to involve institutions. Um, these products are available online on our website. What we're doing now is taking this idea of developing maps. We found them very useful in awareness creation. Awareness creation for aid agencies, also government or author governmental authorities, for looking, identifying areas that will be hot spots that they need to look at. And on our new project, um, which will also be available via our website, you will be able to see available information, um, upload your own data, do your own mapping and modeling, share data with others, and you will also be able um, to look at uh, mitigation options and so on and add your own if you really want to. So I hope you will be using our tool in the future.